Hey everyone, Magic Flying Potato here. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the custom game settings in Grounded. I'm going to tell you how to get to them, what each button does, and stay tuned for the end of the video for some very important information about these settings. So let's go ahead and get started. So in order to do the custom settings, you need to go into either single player or multiplayer, depending on what type of game you're going to create. Go to new game, come over here to the mode, it drop down to the custom settings. So once you get into the custom settings, I went ahead and dropped my screen down so we can go ahead and read the text that's right up here. But here's the difficulty level. Right now it's set to normal. This has the drop down menu, so you go ahead and change it to mild, normal, or woe mode. Next one down is all recipes unlocked and free. This one is currently turned off. If you turn it on, that means when you enter the game, all the recipes are unlocked for you and are free. Bug spawn is currently turned on. So if you turn this off, bugs and insects will no longer spawn in the game. Bugs ignore players currently turned off. If you turn this on, the hostile bugs and insects will ignore the players. Building integrity is currently turned off. Right here it says multi-level buildings will need to, to follow structural support rules to be able to be built into taller and larger bases. So that's what happens if you turn this one on. Right here, quest is currently turned on. If you turn it off, this will give you a less direct experience for quest. Like at currently with it on, quests and objectives are enabled. So in the regular games, it will guide you for quest and objectives. Turn it off and it will no longer do that. Player damage is currently on. With it on, players take damage when getting attacked or falling from large heights. Toggling this off enables god mode. You do not take damage ever again in the game. Friendly fire is currently on. So if you toggle this off, if you don't want to be able to murder your fellow teens purposefully or not, pet invincibility is currently off. Turn it on if you don't ever want your pets to get damaged. Hunger and thirst drain is currently on. Turn this off if you never want to eat or drink again. Stamina drain is currently on, so it's required to run, attack. Uh, toggle this off if you want to be able to run and attack without requiring stamina to regenerate. This can make combat and exploration more enjoyable if you turn it off. Equipment durability is currently on, and there is a typo in this statement over here above me. And uh, it took me a couple of times to read through it before I realized where the typo was at. So we'll go ahead and just read it and... I'll make note of it uh, and send it to the team. But here we go. When durability drains, you will need to repair your equipment to continue to use it, not do to continue to use it. Multiple times I read it and I'm like, that that's not right. Uh, toggle it off if you don't want your equipment to degrade with use. Food spoiling is currently on. Toggle this off if you never want your food to spoil ever again. Menus pause game. So right here, if you toggle, this is currently off. If you toggle this one on, whenever you're in a game in single player mode only, whenever you're in a game and you hit your menu key, the game will pause. This will include if you're in combat or something like that. If you hit your escape key or pause the game to go into a menu, everything stops. So you will no longer be getting attacked by bugs when you are looking through your menus. Here's a key one right here, backpack items on death. So currently it is set to drop backpack, which is what the normal game has. Hit the drop down list, the backpack, you can set it to respawn with you when, if you die. And uh, this last one is a, is a, it's, it's forever. So if you, uh, if you die and ev you lose your backpack forever and everything in it is gone forever. So, uh, yeah, just, uh. Be aware of that one when you do it. So once you have all your settings, go ahead and click accept. There you go. You have your custom settings as you see right here, custom. And then you can go back in and customize these settings if you want to before starting your game. Go ahead and select any character that you want and start the game. All right. So once you're in the game, we'll go ahead and go into the menu to check out the custom settings once again. So come over here. Here's the menu. Drop down to custom game settings. Go ahead and click on it. So right here is all the settings that you had just made in the lobby. And you just scroll down and you can hover over to see what is on and off. And again, if you forget, it'll tell you right there, right there, what they are. Key thing right here, though, is these options cannot be changed in the game. So once you start the game, you cannot change these options. Here's what you need to know about that as well. 
you cannot change these settings outside the game. So these custom game settings are locked into place for this entire game save. You cannot change these settings at any time. So once you start it, you're stuck with these settings. If you want to change it, you will have to create a whole new game as of right now. With that being said, current games that you are playing cannot change custom settings. So if you have a current game running and you want to set the bugs to ignore your players to get into a key area, you cannot change the setting in the current game. It won't let you toggle it off and on whenever you want. Another thing to understand about this is if you do do custom game settings, you will not get achievements from a custom game according to the dev. So if you like to get the achievement unlocks as you accomplish missions or something within the game, custom games will not unlock the Steam and Xbox achievements. That is something to know moving forward with the custom game settings. So if you have any questions or comments about the custom game settings, go ahead and drop them below. And as always, I am Magic Flying Potato and I am it.